Friday's MC versus Anne Arundel men's soccer match had the same implications as the women's half of the doubleheader. It was the Raptors' final home match of the season. It was sophomore day as the team honored their graduating players, and the winner would have a leg up in the Region 20 tournament seedings, with the tournament start less than two weeks off. In addition, MC was hungry for a win. After starting the season 13-1, they had dropped their last three straight tight matches, so they needed to get the ship back on course. MC mounted the first attack of the match. Pa Kaluntang to Diego Campos. His pass is tipped. He retains possession, but the Riverhawks keeper Austin Nolan just gets a hand on it. Ten minutes later, MC pressuring again. Ricardo Reyes Jimenez has his shot stopped. MC picks up the rebound, but the Raptors' shot is just high. Then, 26 minutes in, the Raptors earn a corner. Eunice Ben Muna lets fly a beauty right on the goal, and Francisco Endon is there to stuff it in and give the Raptors a 1 0 edge. Then, late in the first half, Anne Arundel finally able to mount a serious attack. They cross it, but the shot is just wide, and we went to break with MC holding on to that narrow one goal lead. Second half, just seven minutes in, MC attacking. Nico Smirthwaite sends a pretty ball to Endone. He evades the defender beautifully, sends it, but it's just wide as it hits the post. Now it had been a quiet match for the Riverhawk offense up to this point, but then all of a sudden, after an MC goal kick, three straight Riverhawk headers send the ball downfield. Noah Beal splits the defense. MC's keeper comes out to cut it off, but too late as the ball finds the far corner to tie things up at one. Time winding down now, neither team wants any part of an overtime. Miguel Lopez with some pretty footwork. He deeks the defense, crosses to Ben Muna. He squares, but his laser is just tipped away by Nolan. Moments later, another MC attack. Alex Villatoro with a sweet cross to Reyes Jimenez but his shot is just over the crossbar. And Arundel's turn now. Their cross threads the needle to Dion Hunter, but his shot sails high and we're still tied. Under 15 minutes to go, MC on the move again. Andrew Mormon sends a sharp through ball to Ben Muna. He blows by defenders, drives to the goal, but he's pushed down in the box, giving the Raptors a penalty kick opportunity in the 77th minute and the Raptors' leading scorer uses a little stutter step to drive it past the keeper for his 17th goal of the year to give MC a 2-1 lead. And then with time nearly out, the Raptors try to add to their lead with a pretty play. Gabriel Froyce with this shot, it stopped. He tips the rebound to Villatoro, who passes it to himself, but his shot is just stopped by an alert Anne Arundel defender. And that was the last of the excitement as the Raptors took the hard-fought match 2-1 to one to improve their record to 14-4 on the season and put themselves in position for a high seed in the upcoming Region 20 tournament. For the Raptor Report, I'm Michael Brown.